Hello everyone, my name is Prajwal Chauhan and I'm working as a legal intern with Lexis & Company for the month of July. The topic for this video is the rules of public nuisance. While the tort of private nuisance provide a remedy for interference with the use and enjoyment of real estate, the tort of public nuisance allows recovery for activities that hurt a neighborhood or society. To be liable for the public nuisance, the defendant must have interfered with public property or with a right common to the public. Examples of public nuisance include pollution of navigation, waterways, interfering with the use of public parks and the creation of public health hazards. Like private nuisance, public nuisance can be the result of negligence or internal activity. Courts will also scrutinize factors like the kind of neighborhood, the nature of harm and the proximity to those who are injured. However, a major difference from private nuisance concerns who may sue to recover damages. Since the impact of the nuisance is felt by the public, the law limits the right to sue. Public authorities who are responsible for protecting the rights of the pu public, these include state and federal agencies such as parks, department or environmental protection agencies and those individuals who have suffered a particularized harm from the nuisance. This means a harm different in kind that uh, was suffered by the public at large can sue. For example, in the 1970s, an oil tanker ran around the coast of Maine, releasing 100,000 gallons of oil into the water. The result was an environmental disaster, devastating local marine life and severely impacting a town's tourism industry. Local fishermen sued for loss of livelihood and hotel and restaurant owners sued for loss of business from visitors to the area. The court ruled that the spill constituted a public nuisance because it deprived the local community of the full use of the public coastline. The court determined, however, that only the fishermen and those earning their lives living directly from the ocean could successfully sue under a public nuisance theory. Unlike the hotel and business owners who are impacted indirectly in the same manner as the public at large, the fishermen suffered a distinct harm different in kind that the harm suffered by everyone else. Plaintiffs in public nuisance lawsuit, including state departments and agencies, may seek damages or injunctions. Public agencies are also sometimes empowered to refer cases of illegal public nuisance for criminal prosecution. Now, let's take a look at uh, nuisance defenses. There are several defenses available to those of creating a nuisance. There are several defenses available to those accused of creating a nuisance. One important defense is called coming to the nuisance. It applies when a harmful activity was operating before the plaintiffs acquired the property impacted by the nuisance. If the owners were aware of the nuisance creating activity at the time they purchased the property, the defendant may invoke the defense of coming to the nuisance. This defense effectively argues that the plaintiffs knew that they were getting themselves into an assumed the risk of harm. While in the past, coming to the nuisance was considered as an absolute defense, today it is a factor that the courts will consider in determining whether the plaintiffs may recover for the nuisance or not. An example of this manifested uh, in Foster versus Preston Mill Corporation, wherein blasting from a nearby timber farm caused mines to panic and attack each other. As the farm existed before the ranch housing the mines, there was no liability for nuisance. A similar defense is assumption of the risk. Assumption of the risk can be claimed when the defendant proves that the plaintiff knew of the defendant's use of the property and decided to operate or live near the nuisance anyway. Now let's take a look at a nuisance remedies. The plaintiff in a nuisance case can recover damages from harm suffered. The creator of the nuisance will be liable for compensatory damages covering the value lost due to the nuisance and any reduction in property value. In addition, if the nuisance is ongoing activity, the court may issue an injunction ordering this harmful activity to cease. Just as the court may consider social utility when determining liability, courts may consider social utility when determining the appropriate remedy. Even if the activity in question has been ruled to be a nuisance, the court may permit it to continue if the utility of the activity outweighs the harm to the plaintiff. In, case, in such cases, a court will not issue an injunction but will instead order the creator of the nuisance to make ongoing payments to the plaintiff. 
Effectively, the law forces the plaintiff to bear the consequences of a socially useful enterprises, but requires that the plaintiff be compensated for the harm. Consider the case of Bomo v. Atlantic Cement. The plaintiff represented a group of landowners who sued because dirt, smoke, and vibrations from the defendant's cement plant interfered with the use of their property. The court ruled that the damages of the property constituted a nuisance and held uh, and held that the plant owners are liable. However, the court reasoned that the plant employed 300 people and calculated the worth of the plant to be $45 million. By contrast, it determined that the plant have suffered approximately $185,000 in damages. So, forcing the plant to cease activity would economically be disastrous. Therefore, Instead of an injunction, the court allowed the plant to continue to operate but ordered the plant owners to make permanent ongoing damage payments to the plaintiff. Nuisance is a complex area of tort law involving questions of tort, society and economics. It potentially covers an un any conduct which has significant detrimental impact on the use of property. So the range of nuisance cases can be very broad. Courts have taken different approaches to question of nuisance. So the legal analysis will vary depending on which jurisdiction the case is brought. Thanks a lot for listening patiently. Please like, share and subscribe to this channel.